Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Hussed Boy, wearing my Strike Force Grand Prix shirt, and for some reason it seems like every time I film in this room, there's going to be something that bothers me that stops me from making a good take, which it could be this shade right here, it could be my little sister walking into my room. Any of those things could ruin a take, so let's just try to get this over with as quickly as possible. Okay, what was up last night with the judges? I don't know who they were or what they were doing, but they were terrible, okay? Uh, obviously with the BJ Penn, but I, I'll get to that in a second. But it started off with the Nick Ring fight. Nick Ring does not... D credit to him. He's an excellent fighter. He did not deserve to win that fight at all. He was just off his game. I, I forget the name. It was some... Uh, I don't remember. It was some former Japanese collegiate wrestler. And he was good. I, for I forget who it was. I, I have a problem with memorizing the Japanese Asian names. I'm just not good at it. But, um... He was much, much better than him. And it, much, much, yeah, much, much better than him. I'm sorry. Um, and he was just, it was, it was just, and Nick Ring won by unanimous decision. It was just ridiculous. Anyways, uh, moving on. It happened more through the night. I think Sadaropoulos also was a little screwed up decision. Um, obviously, I could talk about the Bisping fight. I'm not going to. He apologized for his actions at the end of the fight, the illegal knee. I know about that. I'm trying to make this a quick recap, again, because I don't want it to be interrupted. But explain to me something. Going on to the BJ Penn John Fitch fight. Okay, we all saw it. I think BJ Penn kind of was a little off in the final round. Um, Fitch. Fitch probably. If I was judging the fight, I probably would have given it to Fitch by unanimous decision. As much as I would hate to do that because that would be another unanimous decision for John Fitch. That said, he earned it. Um, it wasn't just like sitting on top of the guy and getting the unanimous decision. He, he earned the unanimous decision this time. So I would actually give it to him. Except we got the split decision draw, which I don't, I didn't even know that existed. If you, if you, I, I guess this is an incentive to get you guys to write comments. If you knew what that was and you can explain to me how you can have a split decision draw, please write it down in the comment section below because I really did not even know that that existed. That's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Go, make it go into an overtime round for all I can. Actually, you know what? Let's propose that. Overtime round. Come on. Seriously. I mean, I think it makes sense, I, in my opinion. But, um, split decision draw I really don't think should be an actual thing. I think whoever had one point higher should be the winner. I, just in my opinion. Um, that said, I think this is a, just a thing for the UFC to try to make money because I think um, what GSP is planning on doing is after he demolishes Jake Shield, which I'll get to that, um, after he demolishes Jake Shields, I think he's going to just drop the belt and move up another weight class. So they want to have some more welterweight fights before then. So what they're going to do is they're going to have BJ Penn and him fight again for the title after uh, GSP drops it. So that's that. Um, who do I think is going to win the next time around? I think BJ Penn's going to be a little more prepared. Uh, maybe up up his striking game. It seemed a little bit a little bit off um, last night. Um, Oh, also, on a final note, uh, UFC released on their YouTube channel, which I don't know if any of you are subscribed to, but if you aren't, it's good. They show all the promos and whatever. Uh, right after the fight, they released the UFC 128 trailer, which is fantastic. It's so good. Really excellent. Um, so, so, I cannot even tell you how excited I am. Even though I'm not going anymore, I told you all about this, I am so excited for that, and I cannot tell you even a little bit. I am freaking excited, and I'll get to that probably in my next video. But that's it for now. I'm Hussed Boy. Got through this in one take. I'll probably delete a little bit something in the middle, but I got through this in one take. Uh, nothing bothering me here, nothing bothering me there. I'm just going to try to get out of this Grand Prix shirt, and that's all for now. You've been watching Ultimate MMA Brief. Hussed Boy, signing off. Enjoy.